microwave water and germination of um, seeds and things like that. We're going to try to do something a little different and there are a lot of misconceptions and um, just fallacies about Coca-Cola and we're going to try to um, straighten some of those out. Um, these people here, they, they have the myths about drinking Coca-Cola here and here's a list. Uh, if you have any of these answers, let us know. Uh, one here is the highway patrol carrying Coca-Cola to clean up blood at car accidents. It's unproven. We're going we're gonna to call the highway patrol up and see what they say. Uh, number two here is a T-bone steak will be eaten away by Coke in two days. And as you can see, we have we have steak right here. Sorry, Rancher's Reserve. And I'm not going to waste the whole steak we'll take probably about a third of it off and we'll go ahead and use that. I mean, it'll be self-evident whether you use the whole thing. In fact, a smaller piece should dissolve quicker than a larger piece. So it'll only prove itself more if it's true. Okay, and then on number nine here, dissolve uh, a nail in four days in Coke, unproven. We've got the uh, Coca-Cola Classic here. And I got a container over here, clear one, so you can see what's going on. It doesn't say what type of nail that um, they've used in this experiment. These are construction nails um, of various sizes, as you can see. And I'm even going to use something as small as a staple for insulation or plastic or whatever you want. So um, I think that's a, like a three and a quarter inch nail, two and three eighth inch nail. This is a pico nail for us uh, hurricane uh, anchors or rafters and whatnot and then of course the staple so we're going to go ahead and put that in that container and see how that works and number 10 hazardous materials signs are required on trucks carrying coke concentrate and again that's something we're going to do on i'm going to call them up and or interview some of the coca-cola people locally and see what i can do on that but for now, we're just going to do the T-bone and the nail experiment. So, all right, here we go. All right, here we go. We're going to do the steak one first, and I'm going to put it in this container. All right, we just want to make sure the date and time is correct. That's an atomic clock, as you can see right there. Um, and I don't know what the date and time on that thing. It should be fairly close, within a minute or two or something. So, all right. And as you can see here too, this is uh, this is not like a way outdated. There's a cell light right there, and it's only the 22nd. So it says you can buy it as late as the 24th. There, it doesn't say what I need. So it's a good piece of steak. Open it. Right, ready? Okay, we're gonna take this piece right here. Like I said, I don't want to take the whole thing wasted. It's pointless. It's... I'm going to take the meat. I've got a little bit of bone and some fat. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and lay that there. And as you can see, the seal. Go ahead and look at the seal on the Coke. This is brand new. See it breaking. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pour that in here. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up so it gets underneath it. We're going to fill that up. Right there. What we're going to do is we're going to put this lid on it to seal it to keep the carbonation in it. Oh, it floats. <laughs> Fat in it, I guess, makes it float. All right. In the refrigerator. I don't know if we can do this from the fizz. All right, so there you go. That's the first one, and we're gonna just have to take it off um, after the. I guess it was four days. Was it two or four days? I forget. Okay, two days. It says that the steak will be gone in two days. So in two days, we're gonna open that up and look at it. So, 
Yeah, I probably will send it. All right, now the second part, and we're going to cook that and enjoy that later. The second part of this is simply to fill this up and then drop these nails in here. What's neat about this is it'll actually tell us whether it takes rust off of things as well, but that one nail is pretty rusty, so it'll kind of resolve another issue. And again, we can seal this container. In fact, I say we might want to reverse this and put the cap on this one, but we'll see. Okay. Here's a cap for it. So, all right. One good stuff. Two, three, and the little one. Okay. And there you go. I'm not really sure you can see through that at any point, but after four days, we will come back and pour all that out and see what's left. It'll be pretty obvious. So, all right. That'll do for realize that that was the wrong lid for this one. So you can go ahead and film that as well so you can see the time hasn't lapsed that far. So we're going to pull that one off. This is the correct one. And I just want to make sure it seals. Okay, it does. Okay, there we go. Okay, yep. Okay, so we've got both of them now. 